Okay, everybody, I wanted to take a quick minute and uh, do a review of the EcoWorthy Solar Tracking Post. And to start off with, I'll just say I think this thing's amazing. Um, there was a few initial setup quirks, but once we worked through that, it's been awesome ever since. In fact, the other day my wife was joking that I don't even need a TV anymore because I could just sit outside and watch this thing work. But uh, anyway, uh, a few things about the application. I got two 410 watt panels mounted to it. This powers a small off-grid cabin battery bank. And uh, the first pro I'd like to talk about, as you can see, I am surrounded by woods. And so we only get four to five hours of direct sunlight a day. And this solar tracking post helps me make the most of that. Um, so I would say that's the best positive is that it does its job, absorbs the sun and helps you make the most of the sunshine that you get. So if you're in a, a low light area or area like me where you don't get a lot of direct sunlight, um, this will help you with that. A um, couple of the positive things, uh, it comes with a wind sensor. I'll take and walk you around here. Um, this is the the wind sensor, I just have it mounted on the ground. We don't get hardly any wind here. We're so deep in the woods. But if you're in a high wind area or, area or a big open area, um, this will sense the wind. And if it gets too windy, the solar panel panels will flatten out to prevent damage. Um, another thing is that in low light areas or uh, at night, it will reset itself to the parameters that you set and after the time that you set. So mine's set up right now that after a half an hour, if it's not picking up the sun, if it's a cloudy day, rainy, um, it will reset itself to a position that's pretty close to this one right here actually, um, directly south and uh, at the degree that's best for my area is what I, I set it up to. Um, requirements on installation is just a 12-2 wire, or I've seen people do uh, a extra battery to this, but I don't know why you wouldn't just uh, run a wire back to your battery bank with, with the, with the uh, panel wires um, to uh, power this system. So um, so I just ran a 12-2 back to my battery bank, hooked it in with all my other 12-volt products, and fused it. Um, one of the negatives, there's only a, really a couple of negatives. One of the negatives that uh, you'll notice probably right off the bat is that uh, I went ahead and painted mine black. And this may be a negative for some, may, may be a negative not for others, but this comes bright white. And uh, for me, it sticks out like a sore thumb. So we painted it black before we put it all together, which worked out good. Um, the only real problem I had with the setup is that right from the factory, the east and west button... The, the wires were mixed up. And so when I hooked it all up and got it all running, it was not going the right direction um, with the sensor. I thought I had the sensor on upside down. I checked twice, wasn't the case. Um, ended up discovering that uh, the east and west wires were mixed up. Going back to the manual, I guess that's when you follow the instructions, right? Um, back in the manual, the first thing it tells you to do is make sure north, south, east, west are all functioning the right direction. So um, other than that, the, the setup wasn't too bad to figure out. I mean, the, the manual is roughly translated and so you have to have to use your brain, but uh, you can get through it. And that was the, the, the hardest part was just the initial setup. Um, but I, I think for the price point that this thing is just amazing. Um, I really don't think you could even buy a a uh, solar post mount that doesn't move for that price. But uh, this one's been working great. We'll see how it works in the long term. Right now it's been working for a couple of months and uh, doing just fine. We'll see how it winters. I'll try to do an update. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And I would definitely recommend this to everyone. Um, if, if you're interested in buying one of these or been on the fence about picking one up, go ahead and do it because it's totally been worth it. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks.